Hello everyone, this video was divided into three parts. The first one is introduction, the second one is working of various subsystems, the third one is results and conclusions. Then we will list all TA development boards and ICs we have used for this project. Smart Floor Cleaning Bot is a machine which could detect stains on floor and reach them to clean them automatically. Even though we thought of employing cleaning systems because of limited mechanical resources, we could not employ them this time. Without any cleaning systems right now what it does is detecting a stain and reaching it automatically. So the upcoming part of this video will cover various subsystems we have made to complete this bot. Various subsystems we are going to discuss are OPD 101 circuit and motor driver circuit, camera mount designing and functioning and finally stain detection algorithm working principle. OPD 101 circuit OPD 101 is a monolithic photodiode. This graph was taken from OPD 101's data sheet. It is relative response versus incident angle. This graph from the data sheet suggests that the change in incident angle will change the output of monolithic photodiode. We use the same principle for automatic charging tray. Three of such diodes will be placed side by side with three LEDs placed normal to the charging tray. When this board comes near to this L comes near to these LEDs, board's orientation with respect to charging tray can be determined using the feedback of these photodiodes, which is crucial to set up a connection between the board and charging tray. We shall now see breadboard model of this diode. This is breadboard setup of OPT101 circuit. Red torch is used to incident uh, 650 nanometers uh, red light on the photodiode. With change in incident angle, the brightness of the LED will change. Now we will see the second subsystem is SN754410. It's a quadruple half inch driver. Let us look into breadboard setup of motor driver. Its logic supply is 5 volts and main supply varies from 6 volts to 21 volts. This can take up to 36 volts with peak current of 1 ampere per driver. I am running a DC motor with this motor driver. This is camera mount system controlled by two servo motors aligned along rho and theta planes in spherical polar coordinates. We will get a sweep of a solid angle uh, 32 degrees. Now let's look at the stain detection part. When you start the board, it will first search for any objects. If no object is available within its frame limit, it will move its camera in y direction, in the theta direction. And then it finds something like a stain. For example, the plate on the floor is like a stain and it reaches it over there. 
In the next video, it will move towards a chair because it is the only object on the floor near to it. This is how the basic stain detection is done. Results and conclusions. First, let us see the overview of software path. Software path will be divided into two frames: BeagleBone frame and Arduino frame. BeagleBone frame will be doing the process, image processing part and boat navigation part, and that should be communicating with Arduino in order to transfer the decisions. And that part will be taken care by serial communication part. And Arduino will be receiving the serial communications, decoding them, and operating uh, his IO pins accordingly. Now we shall see the result of image processing work. Uh, these are green tea leaves over this white floor. There are few leaves scattered away but they have been ignored in the binary image. And finally this was circled by an ellipse and centroid was center of the ellipse was calculated as centroid of the entire frame and navigation block will take over from this point navigation block takes this final coordinate as input and decides how the bot should move and finally th those decisions will be sent over serial communication port of BeagleBone to Arduino to establish such communication link and transfer data there is a serial communication block Serial communication block tries to establish link between BeagleBone and Arduino. It will try various serial ports and then finally connect. You can read Arduino inbound command. It was sent by Arduino board once after connected. And finally your port will be opened to send data. And that will be processed by Arduino. Accordingly IO pins will function. Now I shall state few issues we have faced. When we ran our code on BeagleBone Black, its processing power is too low and it can't even process around 5 frames per second even after activating the onboard neon accelerator which is responsible for jerky bot motion. These are different ICs and development boards we have used for our project. This is the end of our video. Thank you for being with us.